yo, did you actually watch yesterday's video in order? Or I, you know, put it right to you. You didn't click the thumbnail. I guess it's not a thumbnail. I guess it's a card. Anyway, we're back at it. It's June the 2nd today. Second? No, second. No, it's not a... Th yeah, that's... What is it? The second, third, fourth, fourth. What's the fourth? Yeah, fourth of July coming up. Uh, but, uh, all right, what's good, internet? We, uh... Look how nice today is. It's like the 4th of July. Anyway, we took the time to map out our summer. Really, really nice. So, we've got all of our objectives laid out. Super, super, like, simple for, like, the next 12 months. Realistically, it'll probably take about that long. Well, here's the, here's the problem, though is now that we're in AI land, like it's probably at least a 50 times faster kind of thing. So it kind of turns into if you're able to just focus and do what you write down. And it's kind of weird because the productivity timelines of like work are really getting messed up. So like I say it's gonna take a year, it might take a few months. But then there's like the 80-20 rule, and the 80-20 rule says that 20% of the work results in like 80% of the return. And there's also this other uh, thing in engineering where once you like design it and once you build it, it's really just maintenance at that point. So like, I don't know, it's, it's definitely a, there's a lot ahead of us, a lot of work to do on the like the pre like, side of things. But once the work gets done, it's pretty much like set. I mean, that's the beauty of nerdness is like you're using robots, uh, like silicone intelligence and strength. So like you can use organic means of intelligence or like, uh, like you can build businesses and stuff, investing in like companies and people and all that. Or, or you can just, use robots to do it for you and then you just got to know robots and like knowing robots that's definitely a skill in itself but if you're a young person it's honestly like kind of something that you can learn like the people who make the robots are actually making the robots so that the humans understand them more and more so it's like like coding is actually getting easier uh like engineering also you know our machines like you can 3d print stuff you can like laser cut stuff you can imagine things and like even you just have to use text to now you can do like so much creative work with just your mind and your work like computers in general are taking this huge evolution and it's so good it's so so good but uh yeah i'm just uh still learning catch you later young you're a human watching this and you're not really up to ups with politics it might be something to check out we kind of need to understand, um, honestly, the easiest thing would be to understand that liberalness and conservatism, they come from your biological and your psychological temperament. So if somebody thinks differently than you in a political matter, it's it can be explained by the fact that we're wired internally a little differently. So it's not that people are stupid and don't understand the obvious solution to the problem, like some politicians people think. It's not that other people are dumb, it's just that people are different, different. And we can accept that and make decisions based on that presupposition and make understandings based on that presupposition Maybe we don't all ruin our society, but eh, Western society is kind of a degenerating sh Hey, what's going on, Internet? In this new world of trying to figure out what is, like, meaningful, it's kind of tough because truth is tied to logos and it's tied to, like, it's the supreme form of goodness, so to speak. And, like, the rise of science the idea that we should put this rational objectives knowing as a good thing that was a that was a religious idea the religions of the books left that and 
Well, it's weird that books have been things that we've put our societies on. It's kind of like coding, where if you write a good script, it'll last a really long time. And these religious books are just filled with little useful functions. And if you act out those functions in your existence, so if you were like sinned into a realm of space and time, and it's not like if you believe space and time exist or not. Because like some people want to like, ooh, well, how do you know if anything exists? It's not about if it exists. It's about if it's a useful model or not. And time is a useful model. It helps you track things. It adds utility and value to your life. So keep going with it. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of the ultimate resource. So our, a lot of our society is set up for things other than optimizing time. It's set up for all kinds of other optimizations. And it could be cool if we could make it so people optimize more for time. And if we get along that, it could be a start to helping people think about what they actually care about doing with their time. And if people started to value their time over their status or their wealth, they might actually find that the quality of experience that you're able to achieve if you're doing something you're happy to be doing, being happy with your life and being happy with your existence actually has spillover benefits. So if you optimize for how do I spend my time wisely or usefully and make that your ultimate thing to optimize for, you might be in a good spot.